Hope you guys are having a fantastic day or night. You guys are going to be learning how to create 3D animated intros. The 3D stuff has been popping off recently and a bunch of different editors have been utilizing it within their videos. And these 3D animated title cards are just very versatile. You can also take this and 3D track it to your scene to have a floating animated 3D object. So yeah, let's get straight into it. All right, now that we are in After Effects, the first thing we're going to do is create a text layer. Get the text tool. And here you just want to put whatever you want your text to be. So I'm just going to put yeet. This doesn't matter where it is, but just make sure you can see it so you can customize it. You guys can go over here and customize how far away you want the text to be spaced. And I will say for this tutorial, just make sure your text is not touching and it should be good. So the next step, I'm going to right click here and create a new solid. You can hit OK on this. So for this tutorial, you're going to be needing Element 3D. If you guys don't already have Element 3D, I highly suggest you guys go check it out. It makes it super easy to start off 3D modeling and getting into the 3D realm. Okay, I'm going to go to my effects and presets, grab Element, and drag that onto our green solid effect controls. And I'm going to go ahead to the custom layers right here. Go to the custom tech and masks and the path layer one. We're just going to go ahead and select our text. Now with that done, we're going to go ahead and do the scene setup. And as you can see, we have a 3D space right here. I'm gonna go ahead and click extrude. And as you can see, our text comes into 3D. I'm gonna go ahead and scale it up a little bit. Just give it some thickness. And now there's a lot of things you can do to change the material of your text. But one thing that I like to do is actually go ahead and change the environment. You guys can really use any image to change the environment. So yeah, whatever you want your environment to be and whatever color you want your text to be, you can put it here. I just have this blue glowy environment with these mushrooms, but it really doesn't matter. You can put any image here, hit okay. You can see our text is a little bit blue. I go ahead into your extrusion model and go to the material right here. It's called bevel one. I'm gonna scroll down to the reflectivity. We're gonna increase the intensity to 100%. And now you can see that it is reflecting our environment. If you're planning on 3D tracking this, you obviously would want to set the environment to the scene itself so that it fits in. I'm gonna go ahead and click okay. You can go ahead and hide the original text. As you can see, we have our 3D text in. What you're gonna wanna do is go to your green solid again and go to the effect controls. I'm gonna go into group one and go to the particle replicator. Now here we have the position X, Y, and Z, and this just adjusts where your text is in the frame. And for this tutorial, I'm gonna have the text start behind the camera and then go in and then maybe come back out like that. So what we're gonna wanna do is keyframe the position Z at the very beginning and drag it so the text is just barely out of the scene and you can't see it. I'm gonna go a little bit in and I'm going to drag it all the way in like this. Then I'm gonna go to where I want it to end and maybe make it a little bit closer. If you guys do wanna go ahead and mess around more with these settings, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead to the green solid, down to effects, element, group one, particle replicator, and here we have our keyframes. I'm actually gonna go ahead and drag this to the end. And if I play this back, we have the text going in and then coming back out. I think I actually might want this to be a little bit shorter. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag the keyframe in, adjust my workspace to have the intro to be a little bit shorter. Small thing we can do is highlight all these keyframes, right click and easy ease them. So now playing that back, that already looks a million times smoother, but it's still very static and there's not very much movement going on. Next step to this is going into the particle look and going to the multi object and make sure you are enabling this. But what we're gonna go ahead and mess with is the rotation random. Here, I can actually drag this out. The rotation random multi. As you can see, if I adjust this value, it makes our text rotate in random directions. So to keyframe this, we're gonna go to the very beginning, going to keyframe the rotation random. I'm gonna make it a value like negative 35. Then I'm gonna scrub through to the end of our title and make it a value like 44. Play that back. You can see that our text kind of does this rotation. And you guys can really just mess around with these keyframes however you like. I have this overlay that I downloaded from YouTube. It was free. So I'll go ahead and link that in the description if you guys want to go ahead and download it. I'm just going to drag this into our composition. Clicking on it, I'm going to go to the blending mode, turn it to screen. So now we have that texture in with our title. Next up, I'm going to go ahead and create a new adjustment layer. And this is just going to be on top of all of our layers. Gonna go ahead to the effects and presets and grab pixel motion blur, drag that onto our adjustment layer. You guys can go ahead and adjust this how you like. I'm gonna set my shutter angle to 360. A couple things just to add onto this, you can go ahead and add a glow. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab Sapphire's glow and drag that onto the text. If I increase the brightness and decrease the threshold, you can see that's just gonna go ahead and make our text glow. And that looks really cool. And one last thing you can do if you want it to be a little bit kind of trippier, Let's grab Turbulent Display. Gonna go ahead and drag that onto our adjustment layer. It's just gonna make everything really kind of trippy. Um, you can go ahead and adjust the size and the amount. 
you can go ahead and adjust the evolution if you don't like how it looks but yeah playing that back we have this super cool title card that we could either use in the beginning of a music video or really for any project that you guys are working on but yeah that's gonna be it for this tutorial guys if you haven't already make sure you join our discord have it linked in the description below now i highly suggest you go ahead and check out these two videos right here if you did enjoy this content if you haven't already please subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one later